Our coverage of tonight's widespread hailstorm continues now. WFAA's William Joy is live near Flower Mound. Now, William, earlier, Jesse was sharing with us some pictures of maybe golf ball to baseball sized hail that fell in that area. What kind of damage are you seeing? <coughs> Exactly the kind of damage you'd expect to see from hail of that size. Unfortunately, this tarp that you see behind me on this red car is covering a shattered windshield here on Shiloh Road. That's just north of Cross Timbers Road here in kind of the northern Flower Mound area. And I'll spin you around because unfortunately it is far from the only car impacted by this hail. In the distance, you can see that outback that also has a shattered windshield and next to it, a gray Nissan Altima that has a crack in its windshield also from hail. We went just one street over and I talked to a man who actually said he has a welt on his leg because he was running out to his car to try to very quickly cover his windshield with a towel and unfortunately got a piece of hail right in his leg. And we're bringing in Jairo Quiros, who lives right here on Shiloh Road because unfortunately his car was one of those that now has a shattered windshield. You were telling me that you first just thought this was rain, then started to hear some pellets. Walk me through what exactly you guys heard and saw. Yeah, we were just sitting outside and like, I would just rain and sounded like normal rain and then it started with little pebbles little pebbles like peas and then it got larger to like golf balls and then we have like baseballs and it was just bad and then like after all the rain happened we walked out and we're like okay like some cars had dance i come look at my car and it's just like like that but then like i feel like mine is not the worst i have people like my friends telling me that their house is messed up over there the cars my neighbor's car his back window is all broken had to come out and we helped them out, put a tarp over just in case it rains more. And it wasn't just car damage too, right? You were telling me some of these actual like house windows got shattered. No, I mean, what are you guys hearing and seeing? Yeah, it was, it sounded like gunshots. This is all it sounded, it sounded like. It was really loud and just like windows were broken, just like little parts of like the windows just uh, broken off. But I mean, yeah, I mean, it's been really bad. We've seen a lot of people walking up and down the street. What are people doing at, at this point? Is a lot of people, I guess, impacted by this? Yeah, I mean, all the insurance companies are gonna get caught tomorrow. So, I mean, I mean, that's one of those things. But I mean, after everything went down, the storm and like the, the rain just was over. Everyone came out looking at their cars and just yeah. checking out what was going on. I appreciate it. Thanks so much, yeah, Jairo. And uh, Teresa, I'll tell you, that's again, just two streets here in Flower Mound. But we've continued to see damage as we've been driving around. We'll keep you updated as we continue to bring you more uh, news here from around Flower Mound. Teresa, back All to you. Right, Jesse, uh, or William, we appreciate it. Um, as you said, I think tomorrow is going to be a very busy day for insurance salespeople and uh, insurance accounts all across North Texas. Jesse, have you ever been in a hailstorm where something like baseball sized hail fell? Sadly, yes. I yeah. have too. It's I remember scary. I was living in, a, in an apartment by myself at the time and I was terrified. It sounded like somebody was trying to beat down the door and it scared the daylights out yeah. of me. And once I realized it was hail, everything was okay. But I, I can empathize with anyone who went through that tonight because it is absolutely terrifying to hear that falling. It's sensory overload. It's, yeah. it's loud, it's scary to see. Yeah. I mean, it, it and then you see the damage and that's where you, you really feel for people. Yeah. I'm I, sure we're just seeing the, the beginnings of it. Tomorrow in the daylight, we'll, we'll see the, how, how bad this really was. We will for sure. And we were mentioning some of that hail in the Bartonville area. Yeah. Uh, right when I was talking about some of the damage, we got this picture on Twitter. So uh, Kevin, oh my goodness. Kevin Lewis sent this oh, in. Kevin, I'm sorry. Uh, that's, you know, baseball or larger size hail will do that. It yes. will go straight through windshields with out any problem and, and of course the the hail dense i mean that car is uh that's a lot of damage that's a lot of damage and we're going to see stuff like that tomorrow once we get here uh once we get into the daylight of course you know it, now that night's here we're not seeing uh, as many pictures come in but uh look at this baseball size hail that was that picture that we showed you vicky b this is insanely large hail there's more of it in flower mound uh, we're seeing these pictures from all over, not even just Denton County. We're seeing pictures like this uh, elsewhere as you know, from from Parker County. We saw some uh, from from Rockwall County, from Kaufman County as well. So there it is. Massive hail in Lantana as well. So